In this video, we're going to talk about some powerful ways in which the um, dialogues uh, send email server-side action can be configured to read settings for um, uh, the email account from a uh, repository. So you can see here we have a simple dialogue and uh, the submit button over here is going to submit the dialogue and then on our server-side uh, code over here you can see that we have um, a server-side action to send an email message. If we go and uh, we look at the um, uh, definition of this action, we can see that um, the email settings here, instead of uh, typing in hard-coded values for the SMTP server, the username, the password, we've basically entered uh, these expressions over here. So uh, they start with an equal sign and then we're saying uh, get from web app repository and we'll discuss the repository uh, uh, shortly. And we're saying basically get the value from the repository f uh, using the key of SMTP server and then here we say get the value from the repository for username and then port. So the values for these uh, properties here are being read from the repository. So the repository is just a, a table, it could be a SQL table or a DBF table and the repository is uh, set up by going to project properties and then you can see here in uh, project properties uh, we have repository settings and you can basically specify um, where the repository is. So the repository is just a special uh, table uh, that can be created uh, automatically for you uh, in whatever connection string you define or it can also be a DBF table. So in this case we've said that the repository is stored in this connection to my MySQL database and it's a table called repository but if I didn't have that repository yet when I bring up this builder I could go here and actually create a brand new table using all of these correct uh, fields so now that I have the repository defined I can now um, automatically read data from the repository uh, when I um, uh, press the send button. So now um, obviously uh, at runtime you're going to want your users to be able to set uh, set values in the repository and so now what you can see over here is we've defined a uh, simple dialogue with uh, properties called SMTP server username and password and the user can use this dialogue to edit values uh, in the repository. So if we go now and look at this dialogue, we can see if I run it now, I can see it's showing some existing values over here and I can go there and change the username to say uh, Sammy and then press the submit button. And now when I rerun the dialogue, I can see that the value now says Sammy. So obviously we've written the data into the repository. So now let's go look at this dialogue to see how it was used um, to edit values in the repository. So I'm going to go to design mode now and I see that my fields are SMTP underbar server username and password. So on the uh, server side code uh, in the on dialog initialize I can see that um, we're using the get from web app repository function to read data from the repository. So I want to read the value with the key value of SMTP server username and password, I get those into variables and then I populate the control on the dialog using this syntax e.control.smtp server equals the value there etc. So uh, you can see here so we're just populating the controls on the dialog with the value from the repository and there it is over there. Then when the user hits the submit button we want to write the data back into the repository. So now we're going to use the save to web app repository function and the data that was submitted is stored inside this e.data-submitted object so e is passed in. So e.data-submitted SMTP server is the value that was uh, submitted and we're going to write that into the repository in, uh, into this key value, uh, that key value, etc. So this is how we can read and write data uh, into the repository. So you can see how we can dynamically now um, read the settings for this action. I hope this is information is useful. Thank you.